have two projects. One is titled Fabrication, and the other is Lavender Girls. Fabrication is a set of amorphic fabric sculptures, and they invite a conversation about LGBTQ plus legislation from six different countries. It's from both a personal perspective as well as an international and global stance. On the other hand, Lavender Girls is a series of abstract paintings, um, and they focus on lesbian representation in 21st century cinema, or the lack thereof. Um, for the exhibition, I will be displaying nine of these paintings, and I will be displaying six, hopefully seven, sculptures. Initially, it was my curiosity about the legal rights of the LGBTQ plus community around the world. Um, I've lived in a lot of different countries, and I wanted to know how other people felt about their own legal rights. So I reached out using social media during the pandemic to find out if other people wanted to be a part of these sculptures. I wanted to create something that would give a visual interpretation of the legal rights of different countries. I didn't really mind where. I really wanted to do the Czech Republic, seeing as I'm living here right now. Um, but mostly I wanted to have another conversation with somebody about how these laws directly, tangibly, and personally affect their everyday lives. So the sculptures for fabrication will be representing the countries England, Portugal, the Czech Republic, Cameroon, Hungary, Mexico, and hopefully, if I have enough time, the United States of America. For Lavender Girls, I was actually inspired by this book, Growing Up Gay, Growing Up Lesbian, and the stories inside it were fantastic, and I had so much to learn, and I had these incredible authors like Audre Lorde and Nancy Garden telling me their stories, inspiring me so that I didn't feel alone. And then I wanted something that was a little bit more mainstream. I was like, everybody watches movies, everybody goes to the cinema. Where are we? Where are the lesbians? Where are we in 21st century cinema? I began to do a little bit of research. I wanted to find out where we were, and I wanted to go international. I wanted to see if it was something that I could find across the globe. And we are there, a fraction of us. It's going really well. All the paintings for Lavender Girls have been completed months ago, so they are sitting ready, waiting to be exhibited. For the sculptures, a little bit slower. I have completed four out of the seven, and I'm hoping that by the end of today, I'll have finished the fifth. The initial challenges were definitely to do with being able to finance everything. I've ordered over 125 meters of fabric. I've ordered over 75 liters of glue, uh, which can get really quite expensive. Um, and then at the moment, with like the run-up to the final exhibition, the biggest challenge is actually structurally. The fabric isn't heavy, but being able to get it to levitate, being able to get it to like, hang in the right ways when I don't have the exact kind of space in the room right now is, is a challenge. Uh, we don't get into the gallery space until four days before as well. So even though I can put it up here best I can, it's going to be a different environment for the actual gallery. So yeah, having it completed, um, having to try it out beforehand, having it structurally sound, much more complicated than I'd anticipated. Metanoia is a transformative journey of patterns, of disassembling routines and structures and mapping networks. It'll be a four day exhibition. Um, the opening is on the 17th of June and there you'll find levitating swathes of fabric as well as a corner dedicated to nine Lavender Girls paintings. 
We have a website, which it would be amazing if you could check us out. My Instagram is at Monica underscore Mills. It would also be amazing if you checked out the documentary Lavender Girls, which is on Vimeo. And we also have online interviews. There's going to be a podcast coming out. And if you do have any further questions or request any more information, we would love to see you at the event. And you can also contact me through any of my social media. Thank you.